Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you find this particular video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, maybe leave a comment. Those really help out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available directly from their website and on Amazon. So there's gonna be some links in the description that will take you there, and you can see the current price point, all that fun information, but what is it? So today I wanna to go over the Roku streaming stick. This is the latest uh, streaming stick by Roku, and it is a 4K. So let's go over all the features, what you get, and then what is the difference between this and their Plus version. So that way, if you are in the market for a Roku streaming stick, you can kind of understand the differences. So once you open it up, you're, of course, going to get all the little pamphlets, quick setup guides, but it is super easy to set up. Um, and we'll go over that here shortly. You're also going to get a little, uh, some stickers here to, uh, give some love to, uh, Roku. If you are a fan, it is the number one streaming device out there. And one of the reasons I like it is because it has all the various different services, um, compared to some of the other ones. They're like a third party, so... Uh, it has all the different brands, and it has a ton of streaming options. Uh, and because it is widely used, that means the uh, apps are also more updated and things like that. So in addition to that, you are going to get the US, or the little plug here to connect it into for the USB. And then this is the little USB plug here, right here. And then this part is the Wi-Fi adapter. Now, they have improved the Wi-Fi coverage, so it has um, a longer range and supposedly has faster download speeds. Now, you can plug this into the adapter for an outlet, or if your TV has a powered USB plug, you can plug this into that, and you really would go uh, kind of less seen of the wires. Then you are going to get the streaming stick itself. As you can see, this is super tiny. It is four inches from here to here. Now, one of the reasons I love the streaming strip, uh, stick is because when I travel, if I'm going to an Airbnb or going to a hotel or something like that, uh, I bring this with me because it has all my different accounts like Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, HBO, all that stuff. And it's just right here, and so I can plug it in the back of the TV wherever I am, and uh, yeah, access all my accounts. I don't have to sign into um, some stranger's account or anything like that. Uh, it's all right here, and it's super easy to travel. Basically, all I have to do is bring this, throw it in a bag, and I'm good to go. Now, one last thing is the remote control. So here you can see the remote control. Um, it has the power button, the home button, on the side are the volume buttons. You have some quick access buttons here to uh, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Paramount+, Plus, Apple TV. Uh, there is a button right here in the middle that is the microphone button. So you can talk into this uh, remote, which is one of the great features that I really love. So if there is a movie or something you are wanting to watch, let's say... Um, you're wanting to watch um, Elf. You just sit there and you push this button and say it, and then it's going to give bring up all the various options where you can watch that. Uh, on the back side here, it just takes two AAA batteries. Now, let's cover real quick the difference between this and the Plus version, because there's a kind of a bigger price jump, and is it worth it? I didn't get the Plus, and um, I'm going to tell you kind of why here. So the big difference between the Plus is, first off, these four little buttons right here. You can customize those to open whatever your app. Honestly, I've had the Roku for a very long time, over five years, because I also have the Roku Ultra. Um, I never use the quick buttons. I just hit the buttons on the menu. It's super easy. You hit the home button, and they're right there. Um, this will maybe save you half a second. So the customized feature isn't, you know, I don't need that. Um, and then it has also the option of remote finder. Uh, so if you're one that always loses your remotes, that may be a feature that you want. So you can basically uh, hit a button on your phone through the app, and then it will find the Roku. Uh, it'll start vibrating the, moat, uh, the remote, so that way you can easily locate it if it's lost or fallen on the couch or something like that. 
We have a place where you store all our remotes. So once again, that's not an issue for me. Um, now, there's two other big differences is their um, Plus remote doesn't use the AAA batteries. It's a rechargeable mo remote. So the batteries can last, you could say, maybe a little bit longer, but you basically just plug in the remote and recharge it. Once again, not a big deal because the batteries do last a long time. Um, I never have any issues with that. And then the final thing is if you want to watch with um, some wired headphones uh, on the other remote, you can plug those directly into the remote and it has uh, volume controls and all that kind of stuff on the side. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons they have the rechargeable remote because I will say I do have that feature on my Ultra um, and it drains the batteries a lot faster because you're using the remote for uh, that audio. Um, but once again, I don't really wear headphones very often when I'm watching uh, TV. Now, if you're not wanting to disturb your partner or something like that, that's a nice little feature. However, if you use the Roku app in your phone, you can do the same thing. You can basically pair Bluetooth headphones to your phone and listen to it. Or you can, if you have a phone that still has a headphone jack, you can plug into that. So they have ways around it. So basically, if those features uh, that I just kind of listed are really important to you, then maybe it's worth uh, springing the extra dollars for the Plus version. Otherwise, I think the regular version works great. It's super affordable. And like I said, the big reason I bought this is you don't see the wires and it's super easy to bring with you when you travel. So you can watch movies and watch your TV shows when you are late at night and something like that going to bed, which is a really cool aspect of it. Uh, a couple other things I want to cover under the new um, version of it. It does support, as I said earlier, 4K. It also supports HDR10. Um, so if you have an HDR TV, it does support that. And it does support Dolby Vision. Now, it does not support um, Adobe Atmos. The only way you can get the Atmos is if you buy their Roku Ultra. So if that's important to you, you got to get the most fancy one that they have um, to get that sound quality. Now, in addition to that, it does support all the assistants out there. So it will do the Apple AirPlay, the Apple Home, the Alexa, and it will do the Google Home also as far as your digital assistants if that is important to you also. But that's kind of uh, the ins and outs of this little guy. Like I said, you have a ton of uh, app options out there. You can watch, uh, they have their own channel which you can watch content for free on. Uh, you have live TV options. Of course, there's a ton of subscriptions and there's also even hidden channels. Uh, if you just do some uh, searches on the internet, you can find some extra hidden channels and unlock more content um, that maybe is just not in their store. But uh, overall, if you are looking for a great streaming device uh, that is super easy to travel with, um, I totally recommend this. I'm a big fan of Roku, and I really like how tiny and compact this is and how easy it is to bring with me for traveling. Uh, and that is it. If there is something that... Um, I didn't cover that you're curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. And if you thought this video was helpful, be sure to hit that like button. Maybe leave a comment. Like I said, that really helps out the channel a ton and I greatly appreciate it. And until the next video, you guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.